What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, we need to have a look at a bunch of cards from Starter Deck 14. I've got a little bit of a croak going on. I'm having too much fun at the Pokemon European International Championships. But you know what? There's a bunch of new cards in Starter Deck 14. What am I going to do? Not show them to you? Nah, ladies and gentlemen, that does not sound like me. As always, I have checked with the lovely... I've done the translations myself, but I've checked with the lovely Orange Samurai D, who's checked with people on the Discord, etc. So, with all of that borne in mind, I think if we're going to talk Starter Deck 14, we probably need to start off with the boat. I was on a boat yesterday. I had breakfast with Captain Pikachu. It was lovely. What we've got here is the sunny. It's a new stage. It feels like a while since I've been challenging you lovely ladies and gentlemen about a stage, but that's what we've got going on here. We got ourselves Thousand Sunny, and what we got here is a stage which is absolutely perfectly suited to this whole Starter Deck 14 stuff. Because it's a one cost stage, and your black characters with a Straw Hat Crew type gain plus one cost, and on play, if your leader has a Straw Hat Crew type, you draw a card. And that's what we want from Starter Deck 14. What we want is to be increasing costs. That is very much the hook of Starter Deck 14. The leader Luffy that I showed you the other day, the skill we've got on that is Dawn X1, all of your characters gain one cost. And then if you've got an eight cost or higher character in play, you gain a thousand power. But really it's about raising up the cost. Now, your leader Luffy raises the cost of all of your characters. This doesn't. This only raises up Straw Hat Crew. So now you've got an awkward thing in the, all your Straw Hat Crew. You're being buffed by your leader and you're being buffed by your stage jobs at Gooden. But your non-Straw Hat Crew, you're only being buffed by your leader. No, that's not an ideal situation. I grant you, it's still pretty good. It's still very nice. If this is the kind of thing you're looking to do, if this is what you're looking to play around with, you know, we've already seen, you know, the leader itself gets an extra 1k if you've got an 8-cost character. There are a lot of skills that are activating if you have an 8-cost character. I showed you the Nami the other day that is a blocker, but if you've got an 8-cost or higher character, then you get to draw a card, assuming you have got 6 or fewer cards in hand. This is what you're aiming for. So now all of a sudden, just between your leader and your stage, a six cost turns into an eight cost and activates all of these abilities. That is a very good thing indeed. So why don't we look at a black straw hack pirate? How about Nico Robin? We've got a new Nico Robin going on here, and this one looks pretty nice. Six cost, 7,000 power, counter plus 1,000, and on play... And when attacking, which is a really good combo, because the only turn you can't use a when attacking is when you play it, because you can't attack the turn you play if you don't have rush. So now, it's an on play, so you get to use it the turn you play it, and then every other turn you can attack, and then it will activate and jobs are good. Un. If you've got an 8 cost or higher character in play, yes, it's another one of those skills. I told you there are a bunch of them. If you do have an 8 cost or higher in play, then you get to give minus five cost to one of your opponent's characters. Which, of course, that's the kind of thing that Black have been doing all the way along. What Black have been doing up to now is lowering cost so that you can take advantage of this. What we've got here is you're raising cost of your own characters to try and take advantage of it. So it's a little bit of a weird kind of mix here. Generally, with this deck, what you're really trying to do is raise the cost of your own characters. And yet, Nico Robin comes in, and if you have raised your own characters high enough, then all of a sudden, you get to lower your opponents, which is a little bit weird. But then again, there's still a bunch of black cards around that are going to be really, really nice if you've lowered the cost enough. You know, Rob Lucci's always fun for just taking out characters that have had their costs lowered. So, and there's just one example. There's a million out there. That's the kind of thing we're going for with Nico Robin. It strikes me as a little bit annoying that you're kind of raising your own costs and now you're also trying to muck around lowering your opponents. But really what it does is just unlock a bunch of other options, which is clearly a very, very nice thing indeed. Now, we got Nico Robin. But we've also got Horatus. Now, we were told about this, incidentally, in advance. This is one of the characters we were warned was going to be coming in Starter Deck 14. 
and it is absolutely here. One cost, good. Zero power, bad. Counter plus 2,000, good. And it's always nice having counter plus 2,000 because there's not, you're not going to use every card every game. Whether you don't have the resources at the time, it would be good. Whether you miss your opportunity, regardless, not every card in your hand is always going to be perfectly useful. Counter plus 2,000 makes it perfect. And what we've got is activate main, rest this card. Not a problem. You've got no power. You're not going to be attacking. Give up to one of your straw hat pirates plus two costs until the end of your opponent's next turn. Oh, look. We're raising cost again. Now, again, it is only straw hat pirates. This is a Sky Island character. Makes perfect sense with the manga. But we're now kind of pigeonholing ourselves a little bit. With the Thousand Sunny and with Heredis here, we are only boosting up the cost of our Straw Hat crew. Not the end of the world. We can still turn a 7 cost into an 8 cost with our leader, that's fine. But if you really want to be taking lower cost characters and really beefing them up to the 8 cost, and that really is, as I've told you a couple of times with other cards, that really is the barrier here. That is what you're trying to jump over. If you really want to try and get to that 8 cost, yeah. It is Straw Hat Crew. This only boosts Straw Hat Crew. The Sunny only boosts Straw Hat Crew. You are going to be going up for your Straw Hat Crew quite nicely. But then again, something like Nico Robin doesn't even need Horatus here. The stage and leader alone will put her up to an 8 cost. But if you then bring in Horatus, well, now you're taking a 4 cost up to an 8 cost. That's a pretty gosh darn big deal now, isn't it? I like this. Oh yeah, and after... You boost up. If you have an 8 cost or higher, draw a card and trash a card from your hand. So you're not gaining card advantage here. You're drawing one, trashing one. You are ending with the same number of cards as you started with, but you are cycling through. You are seeing more cards, and that is a very, very good thing. Now, remember this is an activate main. So your opponent, if Arenas hits the board, your opponent kind of has to take it out. Because otherwise, every single turn, you're boosting by two the cost, which, as we mentioned, is good. And you're drawing one, trashing one, which is good. And then all of a sudden, you are in a phenomenal position. This is a really, really strong card. And if for whatever reason, you don't have space to play this character, or you don't need to use it to buff up or whatever... It's still counter plus 2,000. This is a phenomenal card. We don't know if these old black decks that raise your cost are going to be great. We don't have enough data yet. We've not seen the cards come out and see play. But if they are good, this is going to be one phenomenal card. Now, the last character I've got to show you today is Heracles. One cost, 2,000 power. But again, we've got counter plus 2,000, which is good. We like this very much indeed. I mean, I've just given you the whole counter plus 2,000 spiel. It is good. We love it. Go team. But then we've got activate main. You may rest this card to give up to one of your straw hat pirates or your black straw hat pirates plus two cost until the end of your opponent's next turn. It's very, very much like Heredus. The difference here essentially is that you... You can attack because you're a 2k, but 2k, you still need a bunch of Dawn to be a good attacker. It's still terrible at attacking, and you don't get to do the drawing. In my eyes, it's just a worse version of Heredus. And look, I know 2k means you can whack Don on an attack. I understand that. It's not horrendous, but 2k is still a bad attacker. I would rather have the extra draw power than a bad attacker rather than a terrible attacker. But now we've got potentially eight cards in our deck that can be drawn and played and then rested in order to boost up our characters. And you know what? Now we are rolling. Now we're getting to the point where you play a couple of these, plus your leader, plus your stage, and you are legitimately turning a two cost into an eight cost. And this is what I meant when I said, you know, when the first time we saw the leader, I said, look, we don't have enough information. We cannot judge this properly yet. And I meant it. But now, two of Heracles or Horatus. Your stage, your leader, two cost turns into an eight cost. Now we're rolling. But I've shown you a stage, I've shown you a character. Seems mean if we end the video without showing you an event. So how about, well, the translation we've got here is Gum Gum Diablo Free Sword Star Mutant 600 Pound Cannon. 
which to be fair does make sense with the manga. It's all three of them attacking together. Yay! And this is actually really nice. It's a two-cost event. As a main, you boost your leader or one of your characters by 3k for the turn. Not bad. But if you've got an 8-cost or character or higher character in play, which, as mentioned, you really should, then you KO a 2-cost or less character. Yeah, 3k bump for you, plus KOing a 2-cost, yes. And then, of course, we go back to, like, Nico Robin, and I said, generally here, what we're trying to do is up our own cost, not lower our opponents. But, of course, something like Nico Robin here, we are still getting value, because look at this. Now, if you've got a Nico Robin in play, well, this turns into boost your leader or one of your characters by 3k, and then KO a 7-cost or lower, and that's if you're not playing any other black cast or lower cost. Yeah, nice. Also a trigger, if you've got an 8-cost or higher character in play, KO up to one of your opponent's characters of a cost of 5 or lower. This is really good. Really nice. As a trigger, this is great. Although, do remember, we go back to Nico Robin for a second. Nico Robin lowers cost this turn. So obviously you play Nico Robin or attack. For the rest of this turn, your opponent has a lower cost. So if you play the event card normally, that's fine. But it's only for this turn. By the time it goes to your opponent's turn, that's when they're going to attack and activate the trigger, by which point the lowering of Nico Robin is going to have worn off. Sorry about that. Still a great card. Still love this event. And Starter Deck 14 is starting to come together now. As always, when we see these decks, especially when there's a new mechanic like this upping your cost, it is hard to really know exactly how good this is going to end up being. But then we start seeing a whole bunch of other cards, and frankly, this starts to make a whole bunch more sense, and this is awesome. So now you know, and now it's over to you guys. Tell me what you think about Starter Deck 14. Tell me how you think it's starting to go. Go nuts in the comment section, but be nice! And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about One Piece and a bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, and all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. Money's Ross, and you've been watching Wasi Plays.